Welcome to my video tutorial for taking your handwritten math homework and turning it into a PDF file to upload onto D2L. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is to get yourself one of the apps. And you can go to the Play Store, the App Store, whatever your uh, platform, and go ahead and get a free one. If you search Scan to PDF Free, usually all of them uh, will come up. You're going to go to the app. Today I'm going to show you Cam Scanner. It's very similar to all of the free ones. So I'm going to go ahead and hit CS, that Cam Scanner app. Um, it's going to keep a little list, like right here I have math homework number one, because I've, I've done this a couple times this morning already, so um, I did keep that, that one in there. But you're going to go ahead and hit the camera button at the bottom, and you're going to uh, hold your phone or your iTouch, whatever it is, above your work, and you know, try to get it straight, kind of hold it steady. Hit the camera button again. and wait, hold it until it takes that picture. So mine focused a little bit, put the flash on. The reason why is because I had to turn the lights off in the room because I was getting way too much glare. So it does look a little bit dark right now, but watch what happens with this app. If you hit the check mark to accept the picture and it goes on, you get a little um, screen, a crop screen. So you can change the size of this. Try to get rid of your granite, your, um, your placemats, your bedspread, your carpet, whatever you're setting this, this on, try to get rid of all that other stuff around the, the work so I can really focus on looking at your homework. You're going to go ahead and hit the check mark. And when you do that, it does a couple of things. It crops it and it enhances the image. So you have a couple of choices at the top. I just would leave it on auto unless you think it's not working very well. Um, sometimes when you write in pencil, you might have to kind of play with those settings a little bit to, to darken it. But don't worry, I'll be able to read it as long as you guys can see it on your on your scan, I'll be able to see it. So go ahead and hit your check mark to, to save it. And right here it's saying that it's a new doc. You can go ahead and change the name. Uh, my phone for some reason doesn't want to pop up the, the keypad. I'm going to call this math uh, homework. Uh, we'll call it homework two since I've already done this this morning. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit the check mark again. Okay. Now you've got a choice right here. You don't have to do it from the screen that I started with. You can actually hit share right here. It's at the bottom. Sometimes they use the little share symbol that you might have seen, um, like to share a picture on Facebook or like share a picture via text message. Those Sometimes those symbols are in there or sometimes they just have share like this one does. Now Cam Scanner has some online storage. So it is sharing um, this to the, the cloud storage that it created for me when I opened the account this morning. So if you look at it, it says share doc link. You don't want to do that. You want to actually upload the document to, to D2L. So you're going to hit share PDF file. And then it gives you some choices. So if you use cloud storage, you could add it to your Dropbox. You could use Drive. Um, you can actually use the cloud storage through Cam Scanner. Or you could email it to yourself, which I'm going to choose to do. And uh, email it to yourself. And here we go. The file is attached. And that's how to get it onto your computer. And you can go from there. If you do use cloud storage, I have been able to upload items from the Dropbox um, or from my phone using Dropbox or Drive, uh, it is possible that you don't have to actually email it to yourself. So hopefully that'll help you guys turn your homework assignments in the semester. Thanks for watching.